Mm, Fat Boy Fitness Journey Vlogs weigh in number 15. Two hundred and nineteen, and I'm blind. I can't see that number. Good morning, YouTube. Joe Sticks, Fat Boy Fitness Journey Vlogs. All right, guys. So the way in, you're seeing I had lost an additional one point two pounds. So I weighed two nineteen point eight, guys. So I lost an additional one point two pounds since last week. I wasn't expecting that much of a weight loss, but I stepped it down pretty much the same way that I stepped it up last week. I stepped it up for a two or three day maintenance, and then I stepped it back down this week by 100 calories a day until I reached my deficit of 1,800 calories again. And I really wasn't expecting to lose a, over a pound, guys. I, was, I really wasn't expecting to lose over a half a pound. I was expecting to lose about the same as I did last week because I stepped it up the same level as I stepped it down. So I figured the weight loss would be about the same. It wasn't, uh, so it's great, it's no problem. Hopefully my metabolism is firing just fine. It just seems like it is, guys. Anyways, guys, it is Saturday. We have to go out and get a few things. I definitely gotta get a microwave, because mine blue. I'm gonna get some new shoes, because mine blue. And I'm probably, I don't know, I'll get some other things. It's just some things that we need that we've been saving up for necessities and things like that, guys. This morning, I wanna give out a special shout out to my boy Simbra, the Lion King. I'm gonna have a link to his channel below. If y'all haven't seen Simba, y'all need to go check him out. My boy has got some cannons now. Them arms are on point. Now, I don't know what he's gonna look like whenever he uh, loses all of his weight, but I, I almost guarantee my boy is gonna bring something to the fitness table. And I think you guys need to be there when he does. So make sure you go check out Simba. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'll try to uh, record everything I do today. Uh, there will be, I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it low carb. If I can't, oh well, it's it's one of those days where I'm out doing things, but I'm gonna try my best to keep it low carb. I don't wanna be on a complete uh, ketogenic diet this weekend because I haven't had carbs for almost two weeks. So I want to have some carbs today. I didn't have carbs hardly at all last week. And this week I wanna actually add those to my uh, diet. And it'll be a lower carb kind of day. It won't be you no know, two, 300 grams of carbohydrates. If I can keep it under 200 grams today, that would be great. That way I can still keep my fats kind of high. So I will be recording pretty much everything that I eat. If I don't, it will also be in my fitness pal. That way, you know, just in case I miss something, you'll still see exactly what I had today and how many calories. I'm gonna keep my calories between 2,300 and 2,500 calories like normal, guys. Anyway, let's get this day started. The last one. Look at them shoe gains. Woo! Look at them shoe gains. Oh my God. Now match, guys. Now match. No, 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 all right guys i'm down here on uh seller seller by the square getting ready to get my munch on guys right now i got some uh, chicken wings i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i got naked chicken wings guys I'm trying to keep them carbs down all right guys this right here is the appetizer it is the naked chicken wings i'm gonna be eating on these and then when i'm done with this i will show you my main entree look at that guys don't be jealous don't be jealous oh. All right, guys, I got a half pound burger here with the side fixings. I will be eating all this. However, I will not be eating the fries. I will be giving those to my daughter. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I am going to feast. And that right there is mayonnaise. I will be adding that as well. That feels like um, probably a good serving, maybe a little bit more. But we're going to go ahead and add it as in one serving. 
And check out this calzone. <laughs> Lord of mercy. I tell you what, I could, I could sink my teeth into that sucker. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you later. So I got me a brand new microwave, guys. Y'all know I'm all about that black and red. All right, guys, so I bought me a pair of uh, brand new uh, Nike uh, lifting shoes, guys. These are the shoes I'm gonna be doing most of my lifting in. Um, I like them because they're more low profile. Uh, not sitting, they don't have too high of a heel, guys. Really, really uh, fit firm to the floor. So these right here will be a great uh, asset to my workouts, I think, instead of wearing a higher uh, foamier heeled shoe, this meant more for running. And I bought me a brand new pair of Air Maxes, but like I said, I'm all on that black and red, guys. Y'all know that. That's some Louisville colors representing my cousin who killed himself a few years ago. All right, guys, so I was walking around Kroger's and I found uh, this here North new tortilla shell. Uh, basically, guys, it says right here, no sugars added, no cholesterols, only five grams of net carbs per sheet of this, guys, which means that you can eat one of these and it's only five grams of carbohydrates that you need to worry about. It's actually, let me, let's actually look at the macros on this thing real quick. As you see right there, guys, 50 calories, one and a half grams of fat there, guys. 16 grams of carbohydrates with 11 grams of fiber. And you know when you're on keto, whatever you uh, have in uh, fiber, you subtract that from your overall carbohydrates and then that gives you your net grams of carbohydrates, which in this case, guys, is five net grams of carbs, which is perfect for keto or low carb. So I will be having two of these guys and the uh, texture on these are amazing. I mean, it's just like having a white flour tortilla from say Qdoba or maybe Chipotle. I, I've never been to Chipotle, but Qdoba and uh, Moe's, that right there, guys, these flour or these uh, whole wheat tortillas or whatever they are, let's see what they are. 100% whole wheat, guys, olive oil and flaxseed. These things taste good and the textures are on point. And I will be having two of these instead of taco shells. So basically we have some 80, 20 ground beef here and we got some refried, refried black beans, avocado, it's homemade uh, guacamole is what that is. It, it didn't smash very good. The guacamole wasn't as ripe as it should have been. We got some diced up onions. I don't know if I'll be eating those or not. We'll see if I do, it will be in my fitness pal. We got some sour cream, some Roma tomatoes. There's them. Uh, them low carb tortilla shells and some taco cheese. I may add some picante sauce as well and some green leaf lettuce. It is now dinner time and I am having those burritos that I said I was gonna be having. This is what we got going on. See that? Yeah, that's what I got going on guys. I'll also show my fitness pal at the end of the video as well. That way you guys can see all the macros. Like I said, I am keeping this at around my maintenance, under 2,500 calories. I try to keep it between 23, 2,500 calories maximum. Uh, fats will be high today. Carbohydrates will be low. Uh, fiber will probably be kind of high today. So you just subtract the fiber from your carbohydrates and it'll give you your net, net carbohydrates for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this here burrito, guys. I got two of these things. My mouth's watered. Somebody got me wanting some dang Mexican food again this week. Wasn't tacos this time, but it was some burritos. Anyways, I'm gonna get off of here. I'm gonna eat this here food and I'll catch you later. Mm, that's a good burrito. That avocado mixed with that there sour cream and all them seasonings is good. Real good. I'm just a good old Kentucky boy from down the sticks. Okay, guys, it's time for some Halo Top. I have been waiting for this moment for a long time. For a long time. We got some Halo Top pistachio, guys. The macros on this, as you see right here. We are gonna give this here a taste. Now I've got three servings of this fit into my macros and I will save the rest of it for somebody else. This is what she looks like on the inside. It looks good. It looks like a pistachio. Have you ever had pistachio pudding, etc. Looks like they might be some kind of little fragments of some 
pistachio nuts up inside there. Let's see what we got going on. Do you want a bite? Do you want a bite? Do you want a bite? Mmm. Mmm. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Be jealous. Be jealous. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to beat this here up, and I'll catch you guys later. There will be a uh, special video probably around Wednesday. I'm going to drop another video. It's going to be referring to the 100-plus uh, subs that I have received. Guys, I can't thank you enough. There's, there, let me go ahead and put this to the side for a second. Wait a minute. One, more, one more bite. One more. Hold on. Mmm. mm mm, -mm. Anyways, guys, there's going to be a special video probably around Wednesday for the over 100 subs that I've got. But I had so many shout outs, guys, in, in, in a week that, it, that it, was, it was quite amazing. It was really it was really made me feel good, guys. It made me feel like I was actually doing the job that I really came here to do. Other than, you know, keeping track of my own goals and, and succeeding as far as I have so far, but also being able to inspire others to do the same thing. We all fall off sometimes, guys, and it's just, you know, takes a little extra nudge for us to just jump back up on that, that train and just keep riding. And I really want to thank each and every one of you who either gave me a shout out or supported me, uh, came and, and clicked on a video, watched a video, and and, uh, you know, even even commenting still means a lot, guys. It, it means that you took the initiative to show some kind of support. And I really, really do appreciate that, guys. And as you most of you know, I try to support each and every single one of you. There may be times that I may, I may not be able to, but please be assured that I still support you regardless. And I will try my best to do my best to let you know that I do. And next Wednesday... I'm going to do something for my fat squat. Roll call! Something special that I want to do for you guys to give back to the community that has been giving to me over the last few months. Just to show my subscribers some love. Because everybody needs some love. Anyways, guys. Calories will be at the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Keep moving. It's pistachio pudding, man. It's the bomb. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Oh, be oh. jealous. Be jealous. <laughs> Put that in your mouth and quit that. Later, guys. Ah.